Hello guys, in this video I'll be talking about resonance stabilized carbocations. As you can see in the top example, there is a positive charge on oxygen and there's a double bond. So this double bond can shift in the favor of oxygen and as a result, this carbon will get a positive charge. Now this is carbocation and it is more stable compared to this carbocation which is not involved in resonance. So resonance definitely does help in the stability of carbocations. The carbocations that are resonance stabilized are said to be more stable. So have a look at the another example. So you have this compound and this is a leaving group, this leaves and you as a result of this get a positive charge on carbon. That's what we call a carbocation. Now this carbocation is resonance stabilized because of this benzene ring. And as you can see, this pi bond shifts in the favor of this carbon and this positive charge comes here and this pi electronic cloud goes towards this positive charge to stabilize it and positive charge appears at para position and the next pi electrons comes down and the positive charge is there. So these are all the resonance forms which can be interpreted as the stabilization of the positive charge due to the resonance. And if you look at this next example, again, the leaving group is same, but it's not a carbocation, but a positive charge on nitrogen atom initially, but the pi bond shifts in the favor of nitrogen because nitrogen doesn't like the positive charge to be carried on because the reason is nitrogen being more electronegative, hence it doesn't like positive charge and the carbon is less electronegative compared to nitrogen it will favor the carbon uh, positive charge and again as you can see in this example this positive charge is stabilized through resonance and this is how you write resonance stabilization of carbocation and this can clearly be seen that resonance does favors in the stabilization of carbocation and i will upload more videos about carbocation thanks for watching bye